The Pittsburgh Steelers overcame a 14 point deficit and they ended up beating the Miami Dolphins 27 to 14. For a second there, I thought that the Steelers were going to lose. They were down 14 to zero. But being the resilient bunch that they are, they found a way to win and I'm very happy about that. As many of you know, I've got the Pittsburgh Steelers making the playoffs. And we know that the Steelers must be able to beat teams like the Dolphins and the Bengals and the Jets. They've got to beat teams like this to solidify their spot in the playoffs. So I'm glad that they beat the Dolphins. I'm glad that they didn't cave in after losing four, after being down 14 to 0. I am happy for this team. They did not give up. They kept fighting. They kept persevering until they ended up winning the game. So I'm proud of the Steelers. They are a great team. Even with Ben Roethlisberger being out, they are still competitive. So I'm happy about that. So as we know, the formula is very simple for the Steelers. They've got to run the ball. The defense has to continue playing lights out football. They cannot turn the ball over on offense. They just cannot. Because when that, the margin, for the error margin is very slim. So the Steelers, they're gonna keep playing better as the week progresses. Mason Rudolph, he did his thing. I know he didn't throw for 400 yards and five touchdowns, but hey, that's okay. We don't need Mason Rudolph to do that. Basically, as long as he is the game manager, then that's good enough. So I'm good with that. James Conner, we know he's the bell cow. So the Steelers have to just keep pounding the rock. Just keep running the ball. And then when the opportunity presents itself, you can do a little play action passing and throw over the top of the defenses. So once all these teams are geared up to stop James Conner, hit him with the play action pass, Mr. Rudolph will throw the ball to Juju Smith-Schuster or any of these other wide receivers and they'll be good to go. I can see Vance McDonald too benefiting from that. And then the defense, as we know, has to continue playing at a peak level. I'm really proud of this defense. I'm also proud of Fitzpatrick. Minka had a few interceptions. I saw it, he's doing his thing. I'm glad the Steelers picked him up because Fitzpatrick is playing very well and he's gonna continue to play well. We know about the line, we know about Watt and Hayward and Dupree and Devin Bush, we see what they can do. I wish, I really, really wish that Sejir was a part of this. I wish he was able to play. But hey, it's all good. Hopefully he'll be healthy, and I hope he can join this defense. Because can you imagine having Sejir and Devin Bush on the inside? Two speedy, fast, physical linebackers. And on the outside, you have Watt and Dupree. I mean, wow. That def If that would happen, if Sejir were to be healthy and back to join that defense, they would be even better than they already are. So hopefully that'll happen. Hopefully Sejir will get back and he'll be able to join this defense. Now the offense, has, like I said, you just have to just score about 20 points. That's all we need. Just play well. Don't turn the ball over. And they'll be all good. Now, I know that Mason Rudolph struggled early, but he was able to maintain his confidence. He was able to play much better as the game progressed. So I'm happy that he did that. Because a lot of times when guys like him turn the ball over, they get down on themselves. And it has like a snowball effect. They begin to press and they begin to play more and more worse. But Rudolph did the opposite of that. He didn't let the turnovers hurt him. He kept playing well. And like I said, he did this thing. I know he threw for what, about 250 yards? And that's okay. I'm good with that. He doesn't have to throw for 500 yards. No, no, no. Like I said, he did his thing. He's a game manager. This is not Oklahoma State. This is not the Big 12. He has to adapt. And he has done a good job adapting. I'm also proud of Mike Tomlin too. As we all know, he is a leader of men. So he got this team ready to play. I know they fell flat. I know they were down 14 to zero, 
But being the great coach that he was, he found a way to get a team motivated to overcome that hurdle and to win. Most teams that were down, most teams that are down 14 to 0 to a team like the Dolphins, they would panic, they would cave in. But no, Mike Tomlin, being the great coach that he is, found a way to galvanize the team and they ended up winning. They ended up coming back and beating the Dolphins. So this is a great positive sign. The Steelers are competitive. I've got them making the playoffs. And who knows what happens when they're in the playoffs. Anything is possible. Mike Tomlin has never had less than a 500 record as a head coach for the Steelers. And is definitely not going to be this season. Like I said, they're going to win some more games. They're going to probably beat the Colts. They're definitely beating the Bengals. And any other team that they have to face during the regular season, they're going to be in for a long, hard, painful day. That defense will stymie any offense that it faces, and then the Steelers offense will do the ball control thing. They will run the ball, do a little play action passing, hit uh, Smith Schuster and McDonald and all those other wide receivers. Moncrief, whoever's on the field, they're gonna have a field day off this play action pass. So like I said, the Steelers played well, and they're gonna keep playing well, and I look forward to seeing them in the playoffs this season. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd really appreciate it. And plus, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you definitely should subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.